got some snapper right here, some local snapper, and then we got some Gurnard right here. Also cut up some garlic, got a lemon. I'm gonna put an egg in here. I'm gonna put, oh, I got some panko breadcrumbs right here. Some salt, some all-purpose blend. Garlic steak, give it a little bit of spice, and then a ton of Italian herbs with some chili just to give it a hit. Got some panko breadcrumbs right here. in a big mix i'm gonna add some egg in there and uh get stuff cooking Alrighty, uh eggs in there we're gonna give that a stir i don't know if you guys can see it very well from the angle yeah that's a little bit better but how the eggs like sitting up that's how you know it's a healthy egg it's good to eat and everything like that so if ever it's like sitting down like below everything else and whatever that's just not the best to eat i mean you can eat it it'll be fine you won't probably get sick or anything but it'll be okay but yeah, just a good little way to tell if it's sitting up like that. So, mix that right now. Right, I have, and I did end up putting in um, some milk in there as well, just because there wasn't enough egg, and I didn't want to waste too many eggs on it. Uh, put all the snapper fillets in there, you can see. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the breadcrumb, put it on there, bring it over there, and you yeah, know, get it ready. And then we'll do the same with the gurnard, obviously. All right, we've just got uh, the garlic in there. I just turn this on, it's heating up. Yeah, can you guys hear that? Maybe, maybe not. Got the fish there and everything. We'll put that in there after the garlic starts to sizzle away. Got some olive oil in there as well. And um, I might just turn this down actually. And get that sizzle all away. And I'll see you in the middle of it. Alright, we just finished off. the snapper. And then now we're just doing the gurnard. And um, it's looking pretty nice. Alrighty, we just flipped it. You can hear the sizzling going again. Um, uh, we're just gonna wait until the other side cooks and then I'm uh, gonna cut up this lemon and then um, my pop right there. Say hi, pop. Hi. <laughs> Brought over a little snack thing that we might try on camera as well. Or well, I might try anyways. But yeah, wait for this to cook and then um, chow down. Uh, we've just finished cooking up the fish. Just spread over some lemon over it. Uh, that's the gurnard right here. It's all kind of falling apart, but it should be right. Gurnard tastes very much like flathead. It's like the New Zealand flathead pretty much, and then you've got some snapper there. There you go, pop, you can put it on. We've got some uh, prawns as well. They're not peeled yet or anything, but I'll uh, put that in there, and then it's gonna be a feast. Feast for a king. And a dog. And pop, he's on the king. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Just so I can tell my mate, so this is what. Yep. This is the end product, guys. This is me leaving. <laughs> Um, we've got some prawns uh, either side, we've got the snapper there, Gurnard here, and I'll tell you what, I can pick it up, there you go. Pretty good, that was a bit of snapper, very good. I think I like the Gurnard better, but um, <laughs> here goes Pop. Um, yeah, we can try some prawns and stuff as well, but hopefully you guys just enjoyed, figured I'd do a little video. Oh, that had a lot of spice on it. <laughs> So much. <laughs> Alright, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, you know what to do. Go down there, subscribe. Appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.